Grace and peace. How's everybody doing today? Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Anybody who needs prayer, uh, matter of fact, let me pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you humbly in prayer, asking that you uh, have your way, Father. Let your will be done in our lives. If there's anyone out there that needs prayer at this moment, Lord, I pray for them. Whatever their need is, that you might provide it. We know you are the God of provision. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so another story. <laughs> this was the, you know, all, most of my stories are from years ago. Haven't had any recent dreams, but I'm overdue to tell these stories. So I'm telling these stories. A while back, um, I had a vision of hell, actually, of me going to hell. And uh, it happened because, well, first of all, I had asked, I asked to see hell. That was that's number one. I asked to see hell. Uh, number two, it the vision came after um, my calling on on God for help. Somebody had gave me some weed, and I, it, I don't think it was real weed, but I couldn't tell. Anyway, I was smoking it while I was driving. Yeah, I wasn't doing the smartest things back then, but um, it was making it hard for me to drive because of the way it was affecting me. And uh, I began to call on God, like, Lord, please take this away. Help, help, help me. Please take this away. And, uh, yeah, so my mind came into focus. I was able to make it home and... Um, I was thankful. Just so happened the next day, I was like, man, me, me being stupid. The next day, I was like, um, maybe it was because I was driving. So I went back. I threw, I had threw the, the rest of the, the blunt out the window, and I went back to, to go get it. And then I found it. it somebody had already run, run, ran it over. But it was, it was on the little the little bank where the curb is. I picked it up, brought it back home, and th tried to smoke it again the next day. And it happened again. I was like, it took me to a place that I want to be. And I started calling on God again. This was at my desk. Um, my family had went on, went to visit the family for Thanksgiving, so I was home alone. And uh, uh, I started calling on God for help because I didn't want that kind of high that it was giving me. I thought I was dying. And uh, he showed up. God showed up. And when he showed up, it was like a, a big black circle had opened up underneath me. And I could feel the heat coming up. And as I looked down, now this, this black, you know, I'm looking down into blackness. But I can tell and I can see I can't make people out. I can't, like, tell you who was down there. But I can see people, like, oh, they're going crazy because they're burning. Um, they're on fire. And when, when the hole opens up, they can, like, see you coming. And so their their hands are up, like, oh, you know, trying to, trying to beg for mercy for God and get out of hell. But it's, there was no getting out. There was no getting out. It, and I was on my way sitting at my desk. Asking God to help me, uh, He had me. I was on my way to hell. I knew He had opened up hell, and I was going. He had. It was over with for me. I thought it was over for me. I thought I was, thought I was dying, and I was. This was my trip to hell. <laughs> and uh, so I began to plead, I, 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 like. Lord, but Lord, I, I prayed for people. It didn't matter. I was going to hell. He trumped that. Um, but Lord, but Lord, this and but Lord, that. But Lord, this and but Lord, that. And I, I tried to come up with every excuse, but I love Jesus. But but I've, I've healed people for, oh, with, through prayer. Whatever I said, it didn't matter. He trumped it. I was on my way to hell. Uh, it was about 30 minutes of me pleading my case why I shouldn't go to hell. 
and I was still going. He trumped everything I had brought up, except one thing happened. I said, but what about Jesus? And so he was, I was being pushed. It was like his hand was on me, and he was pushing me down. He was sending me slow. It was like a slow descent. I know some people get dropped in there, but it was like he was pushing me down in there. And uh, um, I, and while I'm pleading, I'm pleading my case while he's pushing me down into hell. And I, I said, well, what about Jesus? And then everything stopped. It's like it slowed up and it froze for a moment. Like that was the key. That was the answer. But, you know, at this point, I was already on one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, trying to plead my case as to why I shouldn't go to hell. And uh, so I said, Jesus, it slowed up. And then it began to, I began to be pushed, pushed into hell again. Uh, <clears throat> and so after that, I realized, well, shoot, I, my heart broke. My heart broke, literally broke, and I just knew I didn't make it, and I accepted the fact that I didn't make it, and when I looked around my, at my desk, remember I was at my desk, and I looked around, and I saw my keys, my cigarettes, my computer, all these little things I had on my desk, the, the little, the, 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 the green that I was smoking, and I just knew, like, from the bottom of my heart that most of the reason why I was going to hell was because of all the dumb, stupid stuff that I did at my desk. All these, that's, that's how I perceived it anyway, because I wanted to kind of clean my mess up so that whoever found me wouldn't see my mess, wouldn't see my stuff, the weed, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, but I couldn't clean it up for some reason. It was tapping in so fast. Anyway, so finally I was just, I was, I got in my bed and I laid on my back and I crossed my arms like this and I was like, okay, this, this is how they'll find me. I thought, I remember, I thought I was dying and I was on my way to hell. This was like, uh, happening in real life for me. And, uh. So I'm laying across the bed like like this, and I, I, I began to relax. I still I'm on fire, my the fire. By this time, now my when it, when I first when it first opened up, my my feet were on fire, and by the time I made it to the bed, my the fire was all the way up to my knees, like not literally on fire, but the heat from being pushed down into hell was so extreme. I can, the closer I got to hell, the, 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 the higher the heat was coming up my leg. And, uh, and so I'm in the bed like this, I'm on fire and I just relax and, and, and let it go. I can just say, I'm sorry. You know, I understand I didn't make it. And as soon as I kind of like gave up, the scene flipped. It was like, shh, it flipped. And what I saw, I didn't see hell no more, but what I saw was like the regular world. Uh, people walking down the street, um, minding their business. Um, beautiful day. And what I realized, what I realized was, wow, people don't know the hell, the hell is real. And they're walking around about their day, like, they're not going to go to hell. But the reality is, if you don't have Jesus, he's not your savior, the king. If you don't reverence God, your sins will send you to hell. And even some church folk, some people that think they got it and believe they got it, some of them folk are on their way. They're going to go to hell too. Um, but the worst is people that don't know that they're headed to hell. Like when the scene flips and I've seen people walking 
I, I could perceive that these people don't know hell and hell is real and they don't believe in Jesus they don't worship Jesus and because of that remember I spent about 30 minutes pleading my case I said everything I could say to try to get out of going to hell and he trumped everything that I said and the one thing that slowed it up slowed me from, slowed me down from going to hell was when I called when I said the name Jesus everything came to a pause so I'm just testifying of my vision of hell the one thing that slowed it up was when I mentioned Jesus mm -hmm. and that uh, even though you think uh, or don't believe in hell and you think you're not going to hell oh yeah the worst thing the worst thing in the world is standing standing before God trying to plead your case of why you shouldn't go to hell it's not gonna work it's gonna be too late so turn your life around um, share the gospel get in get in his good graces now before it's too late all right Thomas Ward grace and peace.